God gave me this message last night, and he kept waking me up to this message. He is such a good and gracious God. He gave me the message. He stated, look at my heart. You know, God does so much work on our hearts. And a lot of times, we as his children, we miss it. We miss his heart. What is the heart of God? So I was looking for scripture about the heart of God. And the only thing that really stuck out to me was all the way back in Genesis chapter 6. And I'm going to read verses 5 through 7. The Lord observed the extent of human wickedness on the earth, and he saw that everything they thought or imagined was consistently and totally evil. So the Lord was sorry he had ever made them and put them on the earth. It broke his heart. And the Lord said, I will wipe this human race I've created from the face of the earth. Yes, and I will destroy every living thing, all the people, the, the animals, the large and small those that scurry on the ground, the animals that scurry on the ground, even the birds of the sky. I am sorry I ever made them. So when God looked at all the wickedness that was on the earth, it broke his heart. God wants us to look at his heart. We miss it so much. We, we, we look at everything else. We look at the commands. We look at everything. But sometimes we miss it that it's so simple. God wants you to look at his heart. Jesus. God wants you to look at his heart. So even according to Ephesians three seventeen, it says, Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. Then also Ezekiel 36, 25 through 27 then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. Your filth will be washed away, and you will no longer worship idols. And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. And I will put my spirit in you so that you will follow my decrees and be careful to obey my regulations. Ephesians 1.18 I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. And another version may say, I pray that the, the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. So yes, God wants us to look at his heart. God does so much work on our hearts because even back here in Genesis chapter 6, he saw so much wickedness on the earth that it broke his heart. So then he in turn wiped everything clean, started over. And he went after our hearts. But not only that, we know that he sent Jesus because Jesus had to be the atonement for our sins because we could not get it right. But not only so that we could be raised up and have new life with Christ or life with Christ. But also so that Christ could dwell in our hearts. It's almost just like we have the mind of Christ because Christ dwells in us. We also have the heart of Christ because he dwells in our hearts. So God want you to look at his heart. There was so much wickedness on the earth that it broke his heart. So he sent his only son and he said, no good thing will I withhold from you. He put his spirit in us. He gave us the mind of Christ, the anointed one. So that Christ could dwell in our hearts. And it says he even gave us a new heart. According to Ezekiel 36, 25 through 27. And I will give you a new heart. Just like you're a new creation. 
a new heart. It's almost like we have the heart of God, which is amazing. And so, yes, that's why God references so much about the heart and the work he does on the heart. The heart is deceitful above all things. Um, even in Psalms, he uh, says, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Also, it says, you know, like the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure. Um, and that's in Matthew. I think it's Matthew 13. And then also it says in Matthew six twenty one, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And God wanted me to highlight what he did through David. What he did through David's bloodline. A man after God's own heart. Hallelujah. Amen.